Okay, so this is the, the actual cutter machine. There's a, a second smaller machine underneath and eventually this is going to be replaced. This is a compressor which feeds a, uh, a, a pulse of air to the cutting head which helps uh, prevent any kind of flame building up where you're cutting. Okay, it blows the smoke away, you think it's just doing that, but actually it's, it's to get rid of the gases that might set on fire. Okay, um, the, the extract system in the, the Make Lab is, uh, is, a, is a brand new installation. It's quite quiet and so it's difficult you know, sometimes to tell that it's actually on, but uh, it's switched on centrally. Uh, if you were cutting and you didn't see any smoke disappearing, that's the only giveaway that the thing isn't switched on. So uh, just be mindful, make sure there is smoke getting dragged away from your work. Okay, the, uh, we're going to switch the machine on and let it go through its, its startup procedures. Okay, the power switch for this machine is on the front here. Some of the machines have the power switch at the side. Okay, so the light switch is on inside and the display you can see here starts coming to life. And it takes a few seconds to to become ready. It has to check all its circuits and then it will put the uh, cutting head, which is currently up in the corner, it makes sure it's in its home position uh, ready for you to use. Okay, now what we do is we bring the, uh, the bed here, this metal aluminium table, this has to be set to a height to suit the focus of the laser. And at the moment this is set quite low down. The last person to use the machine had the bed set a good three or four inches lower than you would need for cutting cardboard. Uh, it might show up on the video, you can see a small red dot in the corner. Uh, that's very blurry at the moment and that, that indicates that the, the, the cutting position is too low down. Okay? We want a nice sharp red dot. Okay, so it's gone through its self-tests. Uh, we don't need to use this display just now. We're going to adjust the height of the, the cutting deck. Okay, we're cutting a very thin material, which is thinner, thinner than these rulers, so it's safe enough to bring the cutting bed right to the top height. Okay, It can't collide with a laser when there's nothing on it. Just be careful when there is material on the deck that you don't raise it and collide with the laser. Okay, so what we'll use to, to raise the, the metal deck up and down is these up and down buttons. Okay, Because it's a long way down at the moment, I'd be best to use the fast button as well. So I hold both buttons simultaneously and press on quite hard because they're fairly stiff buttons. You can hear the machine moving and you can see the deck rising up. Eventually it'll stop itself. Okay, now we're in a position where we can make a more detailed height setting. So we need to get the laser cutting head into a position where we can see exactly what's happening. And that's where these two keys come in. We've got P1 and P2. Okay, P2 is the round about the middle of the deck, which is the most suitable for setting the height. So we'll, we'll go to position P2. Okay, so we can see the, the cutting head now, and you can hear a purring noise coming from the, the cutter. I'm just going to adjust the uh, ISO setting on the camera just slightly to make this give it a bit more exposure so we can see what's going on. Okay, so we can see the red dot here is much brighter. Okay, the laser isn't firing at the moment. It only fires when the lid is down. You can't make it run when the lid is up. Okay, the laser also won't work if the front door here is open as well. There's contacts that disable the laser instantly. Okay, so now we want to put our material in. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to cut to uh, to this material. This is uh, mounting board, one millimeter thick. 
uh, excellent for making models. Okay, now if I push this in, you can see it's not going to go underneath the, the laser. Okay, so I can move the laser out of the way to position P1. Okay, that lets me load my material. Okay, I'm going to tuck it in to the corners, and this is when the tape, the masking tape, comes into use. Okay, we need to tape the material down. So I'll just pause the video because I can't do both. So I'll tape it down and then restart. Card is taped down in four corners. Um, if the card isn't flat, it's not going to lie well. So you may need to kind of bend it a bit before you place it or use a better, flatter piece of material. Um, so we now go to position the cutting head back to position P2. And we need to now use the uh, height setting gauge this small blue device, if you try and get it in focus, okay, and this is used to give us a more detailed, more accurate height setting. Okay, so I need to put the, the camera on the tripod to demonstrate this, and it's probably going to be kind of from this angle that we get the best view. It's a bit tricky, it's difficult to see what's going on. Now, this, this small tool has two sides to it. Okay, we're looking at this, these shapes here. It's got a high elbow and a low elbow. Now when we're setting the height, we always use, we always use the low elbow. Okay, because we've got extra air devices added to the cutting head, it makes the cutting head a little bit longer. Okay, and what we're trying to do is to get, get this elbow effectively stuck on this edge. There's a step out just here and we try to get that snugly, snugly into that angle. Okay, it's a difficult thing to put into words. Um, you know, once you've tried this for yourself a couple of times it's very easy. First time round might take a couple of attempts. Okay, so I'll put it up there just now and see what's happening. Okay, you can see here that the device, if I push it down slightly, it's not going snugly under the, the, the skirt here. It's not getting under that waistband. Okay, so that means the metal deck and the material has to go down slightly to let this move into position. So you, you kind of need three or four hands here, but uh, once you've done this a few times, it'll be okay. Okay, so we're, I'm gently, gently pushing the object, the blue object, that direction. Okay? Don't, don't lean on it, okay? You don't want to press on too hard. You could end up moving the cutting head. Okay, so it's a very gentle push. And while this is, while I'm pushing this way, I'm using the down key on its own. Okay, the button with the word down on it only. So it's going to move down very slowly. Don't use the fast button as well. Okay, so watch carefully. We'll do this a few times. So hopefully you'll be able to see what's happening. Okay, so down, and eventually the blue makes contact with the black. Okay, so it's it's kind of snug, stuck in that corner, just just fitting nicely in there, and that means the device is in focus. So let's push it down a bit further and do the whole process. You know, where it's too far down, we'll bring it up and then go down again. So we'll move it down slightly. Let's do a fast down. Okay, watch that you don't get this object stuck under there. That's a, a risk. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up now. Oops, see, there it's going sneaking under. It's taking it down a bit too far. So I'm just gonna go upwards a tiny bit. Okay, right, so we're going up now up until I get, I see the blue object get pushed away completely. So just watch, watch for a slight bit of daylight between the blue and the black. Okay, it's now being pushed aside. Do you see the gap appearing? It's very difficult to see in this kind of gloomy, it's all black and shadowy down here, so it's very difficult to see. Okay, so I've got about a one and a half millimeter gap there. 
Okay, so now I'm going to move the deck downward slightly to close that gap. So when the blue, blue touches the black, that's when you're in focus. Stop. If you, if you play video games, you've got fairly good reactions. This is very easy to do. Uh, otherwise, it might take a few, a few attempts. Okay, so remember, the critical thing here is that we use the low elbow. Don't confuse the slope, the slope here with the tip of the, the cutter. It's, it's this edge here that we're dealing with. Okay, I hope that, uh, that is fairly clear. It's a bit difficult to, to demonstrate on the video, but uh, that's us ready to go.